Hey guys, welcome back to a, another episode in my tips and strategies, and this is going to be number 11, and um, I'm going to show you two games, um, actually three games, but the first two games is just going to be sort of the end of the game, because uh, I want to show you uh, mistakes that I made and then the mis how I corrected that mistake uh, in another game that I played. Um, and so here we are, it is heads up, um, I've taken out a few people uh, at this point, uh, I just took this joker down. So we get down to sort of the final here. And we're going to look at it from my perspective, and then we'll fast forward. Um, this is why I'm not a fan of the Mini 14. I nailed this guy three times. And uh, how much health does this... I mean, golly, if it was the SKS... I probably get the guy down in two shots, uh, let alone three. He's done, uh, and I'm not able to get the guy down, uh, which is super frustrating, but I wasn't able to do it. So I end up taking a few more shots at this guy. I actually think I hit him uh, once more, uh, and when I do, um, it's still not enough to get this guy down. So, guys, the mistake that I end up making is, uh, yeah, there I am shooting him again. Oh, golly, I couldn't get this guy down. Again, look at his health. Um, I end up rushing this guy. I rush this guy when I don't need to rush this guy. And that's what ends up costing me. So look at it again from my perspective. Um, actually, we'll look at it from his perspective. So I'm still taking shots at this guy. He doesn't know exactly where I'm at. And I end up pushing myself over the top of this ledge further than I thought I did to get a shot on him. And he's able to get me down. I, oh, golly. That one really hurts. Just, oh, golly. I really should have won that one. Um, this guy was going to have to come up this hill. I didn't need to basically put myself over as far as I did to try to find this guy. And I just needed to wait. You can see where the circle is. I'm in the circle. Uh, I had a good spot to be in the circle. The guy was going to have to come to me. I didn't let that happen. So let's look at the next game. Alrighty guys, so in this game we're now down to three people. Uh, I just took out a guy that was right over here. Uh, this was another good game that I had. I had like... Um, Jeez, I, if, I think I had four kills at this point. Um, this Joker over here is currently shooting at me, and he's kind of got me pegged. And what he's unaware of is his doom is coming uh, from this guy down here. Muppet Hands. Muppet Hands works around and is able to get this guy down. And guys, in this game, I make the exact same mistake. It gets down to heads up once I hear the gunfire uh, from over here, because I'm kind of pinned down at the point. At this point, I take off running because now I know that the two jokers shooting at each other are not going to be looking at me. So I make a break to get to cover. I rush down, and I just got overzealous again. Um, I, I've I've got good weapons, you know. I got full health. Um, I'm in a really good spot. I know where this final guy basically is. Um, the circle is still a decent size at this point, um, you know, for two people. Um, I mean, you can see now the circle starting to come in, but I'm in no danger. I'm in no danger of not being in the circle. And golly, man, I just rushed this guy when I didn't need to. Because I don't really have any cover. He's got a little bit more cover. And what I needed to do was to basically use my SKS at this point. Um, rather than try to just sight him in. I think I had a, a M4. And he nails me. I heal up. Or no, he didn't hit me. I just chucked... I didn't have any grenades either. I threw smoke grenades. And... <laughs> smoke grenade went down the hill. So now I'm in a really bad position. Rush. I rush up the hill like an idiot. 
<sighs> All right, that's two games. So let's look at the actual game where I kind of fixed this mistake. Alrighty, guys. So this is. I'm going to try to show more of a full game um, that I played here. So you can kind of see where the plane's coming in. Everybody's jumping out. I'm still in the plane at this point. Um, and they finally released the update. Uh, these games that I'm showing, um, this is right before the latest uh, patch update. Um, I believe it was patch number 12. So this is now um, after this game. Um, all the games I'm going to be playing, they'll have all the new grips, uh, the new weapon. Um, uh, so everything's kind of changing with uh, how they're doing uh, everything. It's been really enjoyable. I I've liked the update a lot. Uh, they changed the grips, and once again, I want to put a shout out to Wacky Jackie. If uh, it's Wacky Jackie 101, if you've never watched his videos, watch his videos. He has the best PUBG videos. Um, they're, he just—they're nice, they're short, they're sweet, and uh, he does such great analysis. So in this game, I end up dropping down over into this area. I, I like to go to this spot right here. Uh, you've basically got the two open warehouses, plus you got the main warehouse. You can usually find really good gear in the warehouses, so this is where I, I try to go. Uh, what I'm going to end up doing is uh, moving from here. I'll end up moving south because uh, I'm so close to the circle. I like to go south, uh, hit the building right down here, then work my way up. And I don't really encounter anybody um through here and what i end up doing is then working my way up into los leones up onto the ridge here looking for people and there's the plane the plane the plane so i end up working my way down through here uh up to los leones come across here and end up over on this side of la bendita and through all that i don't encounter anybody uh, I end up having some good weapons. Um, if I remember correctly, I had an M4 and an SKS in this game with a four scope. Um, so I had a lot of good stuff, uh, plenty of health. I, I was in good shape. So we're just going to go ahead and kind of fast forward and see where we currently are. Okay, so this is me now moving up uh, into this area. Let's move up a little bit further. Uh, I had to jump into a van in order to get into the next circle, which I'm never a fan of. I don't like getting into vehicles. It's giving away your position for free, but I didn't have a choice. Uh, I get kind of lucky in that there's nobody around me uh, from where I'm going. Uh, now, what I always like to do is if I can dump a vehicle before I get to the circle, uh, I always try to do that. Um uh, you kind of take a chance on whether or not there's going to be anybody around, but if there was somebody up on this uh, hill right here uh, on the other side, it's possible that they don't hear that van, so they won't hear me coming. So that's why I always try to uh, dump the vehicles uh, before I kind of get to where it is I'm trying to go. Uh, if you ever find yourself on this side of La Bendita, what you do not want to do is go down through this area uh, and there's fire 708 and we'll see him a little bit later uh, you don't want to go down through here what you want to do is come around the side now you can either basically take the outside or you can even sort of come into the crater but you don't want to go through the building area the reason is because a lot of people gravitate towards it and if they hit this ridge line they're going to be able to look down into uh, here and have really easy, clear shots on you. So here's Fire 708. This guy's moving along. Another Joker goes along on a motorcycle, and uh, I'm all the way in the back here. But, and it's not showing that I have a helmet. This uh, replay's uh, uh, about a week or so old, so. Uh, running along, still haven't encountered anybody to take any shots at, but um, I can hear a lot of gunfire basically to my left here. So I'm going to slow it back down because there's a couple things that kind of happen. So kind of look at it from my perspective. Now I had heard some shots coming over from the right earlier, so I knew that there was at least one person over in, in this area somewhere over there. Uh, 
I also at this point realized like, okay, I have to get to these buildings. This is the only thing that makes sense because I know that there's somebody over in this area uh, or had been somewhere over here earlier. So I go ahead and I take off running. Um, and I know that I'm going to get shot at because I know that there's some definitely some guys um, over there on my left, over on the ridge. And sure as the world, I believe it's Fire 708 taking shots at me. I get a little bit of cover from that hill right there. Uh, if somebody else starts shooting at me over there, you can kind of see him over to my right. And it's somebody with, I believe, Car 98. And they're taking shots at me. I struggle to get through there, but I finally do. Rainbow Dynamite just had a really good kill with the Winchester. Uh, took out this Joker over here. Now, it's not going to show it, but this guy had a ghillie suit. Uh, Rainbow ends up picking up the um, uh, the ghillie suit, um, takes his weapons, yada, yada, yada. So, where am I? I'm in this building. All right, so I'm currently down here. <clears throat> We're down to nine people. I know that there's somebody right over here. I know that. I also know that there's people over on this side. I know that I've got to get to here. I got to get to the next circle. So I don't really have a choice. I'm going to basically have to get into this area right here. If I run over into this area, I know I'm going to be sort of in a wide open spot to be shot at. Because I know the layout of the terrain right here that once I get past this little uh, hill area, anybody who's up over on this ridge, I'm easy pickings. So what I've got to do is try to get down over into this area because there's more cover over here, um, uh, working down over into this area. So once I hop out of the window over here, no, oh, I'm already taking shots. All right, so I am now shooting at Rainbow Dynamite because I knew that there was somebody over on my right over here. So again, I'm working down, and here's the thing. Kind of show it to you. Okay, so I was just taking shots at Rainbow Dynamite. I know now where this guy is, and I know that the circle is coming in. I know that this guy is not going to make the circle uh, before I am. I was trying to figure out exactly where this guy was going to have to come in. Here's what I know. He's not going to end up over here, and he's not going to end up over here. This guy has got to make a straight line right into here. So that is what I end up doing, is trying to put myself in a position where I think this guy has to pop up, because it's the only place that makes sense. And that this guy is the closest threat. Uh, he knows that I know where he's at. Uh, and so I get down over here and I am waiting for this guy to show up because I know he's got to come right over here. So I get into position. I'm waiting for this joker to show up. Do, do, do. And I get him down. Once I get that guy down, uh, I'm still in good shape. It's not like I needed to raid this guy or anything, so I'm, you know, I'm not worried about that. Okay, so now we're down to seven people. Here's the next circle. I look at my map and I realize, okay, I've got to get into these buildings. It's the only thing that makes sense. So we're going to look at it from my perspective. I assumed that there was going to be people in this building, uh, in the buildings over there, so I start looking, but I still know there's people over on this ridge. So this is where I'm trying to look. So I sight this guy in. I see where he's at. Try to get a headshot on him. I don't know how I missed that second shot. But I get him with the third shot. So I take that guy out. I know there's still more people over on this side. So that's still what I'm looking for. Because I know basically the majority of the people left in the game are over here. Uh, when I say majority, okay, there's two people. I'm over here. There's only five of us left. And there's two jokers over here. I call everybody a joker, by the way. So, Anywho, 
I see this guy. Do I take a shot? No, I'm waiting for him to kind of settle down because I still have 20 seconds before I need to move. Uh, and I know that I can make those buildings. I'm going to be able to run it out. So I see this guy moving, but that's when I see the second guy. Once I see the second guy, that's what tells me, don't take a shot. Get up and run. Those two are going to fight each other. They're not going to be looking at me, so I don't have to worry about it. Sure enough, Fire 708 gets down uh, Mr. Insane Asylum. So I'm working my way over, still trying to stay down. I know that guy's probably in the circle, but I got a little bit of cover from him. We're down to four players at this point. I hear gunfire right in front of me. Do, 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 do. I move over to the next window. And I see that guy go down. Once that guy goes down, uh, Invictus gets Africano, gets him down. I see where Invictus just moved to. Okay, so here's the situation at this point. And so, again, guys, I mean, always try to look at your map. Always try to figure out what's your best play. So here's what I know at this point. I know where the last two guys are. And I know they do not know where I'm at. At least Invictus does not know where I'm at. It's possible that Fire knows. It's possible that he saw me move over to here. I figure out that he does not know where I'm at um, based on what's about to happen. Uh, and basically what happens is these two guys, Invictus and Fire, they start exchanging fire like crazy. So I decide to let them fight it out. I don't want to take a shot even though I've got uh, the bullseye basically on fire 708. I can get a headshot on this guy uh, as you'll see because I'm trying to figure out okay what's my best play here. Since Invictus doesn't know where I'm at it makes more sense for me to kind of see what happens. If Invictus gets, goes down then I know that I'm in a lot of trouble um, because of where the circle is and where I gotta move to. So you can hear the, the shots going off. Uh, I've got basically 50 seconds at this point. So I start looking for fire. I see this guy. I'm tempted to take the shot just because it's there. But I realize this guy's not looking at me. He's looking at Invictus. If this guy can get Invictus down, then I can take the shot. If Invictus gets fire down, then he doesn't know where I'm at. And I'm going to be able to kind of swoop up the side right over here as Invictus moves up to the circle and I'm going to be able to get Invictus down because I'll be close enough, it'll be mid-range, I'll be able to take this guy out. Unfortunately, neither of them do, so this is, ends up being the decision that I make. These two are still firing, The there's 10 seconds left, I've got to get to the circle and I realize the best place for me to be at this point is going to be right here. I've got to get to the circle at this point. I can't come up behind Invictus. One, he's going to hear me coming. Two, I'm going to end up being more exposed to Invictus than I want to be. And then three, even if I get Invictus down, fire is already looking in this direction. The only, sort of the best thing going for me at this point is neither one of these guys knows exactly where I'm at. So the best option for me is to put myself over here. And on top of that, if you look to see where fire is, where we saw him earlier, he's on this side of the box, so or the crate. So this guy cannot see me at this point. This guy is looking straight down. He's looking for fire. That is what he's doing. So he is not even looking in my direction he can't see me so I've still got the element of surprise at this point now I end up losing the element of surprise and we'll end up looking at it from uh, Invictus's point of view and so Invictus is in this fight now he's got to move over he, mo he does a good job in kind of moving over to get to some cover fires not able to get him down moves up the hill a little bit which is a great decision on his point point or part however you want to say it anyway uh he finally sees me i lose the element of surprise takes a shot he actually hit me misses me right there and now he's trying to be careful because he knows the last guy fire is shooting at him so he tags him 
he hits him. And now I've put myself in the best possible position that I can be. The reason I say it's the best possible position is because Fire still does not know that I'm right behind him now. He doesn't know. If Fire can end up taking out Invictus, I'm going to be able to get Fire down really quickly. Even if Fire goes down, I'm still going to be at least have some distance and I'm going to have a little bit of cover away from Invictus. Everything that I'm trying to do is working out at the moment. The only hitch ended up being that uh, Fire saw me, but there was just, or not Fire, Invictus saw me, but there was no way around it. So Circle comes in, uh, I make sure to heal up, um, and poor Fire gets taken down. Now we're in this position, it's me and Invictus. And we'll kind of look at it from my perspective. So, what ends up happening right here? So, I'm in the circle. Invictus is not. There is 34 seconds to go. When there's 34 seconds to go, he and I, we're just exchanging fire. This guy is actually using his uh, rifle. He's not using the Car 98. He'll switch over to the Car 98 here in a second. So... <laughs> We're both taking shots at one another. He chucks a grenade. I see that it falls short and then it bounces down. Both of them do. I'm in no danger. He tags me a little bit. I actually... The guy was wearing a level 3 helmet. Now, they changed it to where level 3 helmets are only in the um, crates now. But uh, in this game, he had a level 3 helmet... And uh, I tagged him right there, blew his helmet off, I knew that. So I chuck a grenade, because I know he's got to heal up, so I know he's not looking for me just this second. Start scoping him down again, and that right there, did you notice what I just did? <laughs> Let's rewind it, because, guys, here's, here's what was happening inside my head at this point. I nail the guy, I chuck the grenade, and I had a momentary just brain fart where I said to myself get him go get him and all of a sudden those previous two games that I showed flooded into my brain saying idiot do not rush this guy I'm in the circle I don't need to rush this guy I know he's hurt but it's not like he's on the verge of dying don't rush him and so I start to run and I immediately pull back right there I pull back like idiot don't so I pull up the SKS I take a couple more shots and the guy is now I don't know how I missed him right there but I switch over back to my M4 the guy has to run to me doesn't have a choice and I'm able to get I'm able to get this guy down so that right there is just a perfect example and this honestly it's just more for me than really anybody else but learn from your mistakes I knew what I had done previously in the other two games that cost me the game whether or not I would have won them you know it's up in the air but I put myself in a bad position in those games I almost did it this game and then I just moron pull back don't do it and I took advantage of sort of the map the situation and where the circle was, and I didn't give up my advantage like I did in the other two games. So, alrighty, guys, thanks so much uh, for watching, and we will catch you next time. See ya.